Good morning students. Today we are going to learn a new lesson from our textbook that is Flying Together written by Shiv Kumar. It is adapted from stories from Panchatantra that is a wise old bird. Now before we read the lesson let us know what are some of the things that your parents and teachers tell you to do on time. Yes you are right. They ask you to get up early in the morning uh, watch online classes or attend to online classes. They ask you to do the homework and they ask you to go to bed early. So what not, they are, they'll be just going on telling you something or the other. And when you don't do it, how do they react? Yes, you are right. Absolutely correct children. They get angry on you. They scold you and sometimes even they shout on you and they go on repeating also again and again till you do it. Isn't it? So this lesson, in this lesson we'll come to know how important it is to obey our elders and what happens if we did not do the things on time. Okay, now open your textbook to page number 29. Deep in a forest stood a very tall tree. Its leafy branches spread out like strong arms. So we are deep in the forest refers to inside the forest. So what is there inside the forest? A very tall tree. It is very big. With, uh, with its branches spread out like strong arms. This tree was the home of flock of wild geese. They felt safe there. One of the geese was a wise old bird. So here the word flock refers to group of birds. Geese means plural of goose. That is large web footed bird. So this tree, all these birds lived on that particular tree. And they felt very safe. Okay, so what are the birds? They are the geese. So they felt very safe on that particular tree. And out of all those geese, one was very wise enough. Wise means very intelligent and clever. He noticed a small creeper at the foot of the tree. He spoke to the other birds about it. So this wise bird had seen something at the foot of the tree. What did it see? Yes, it is the creeper it has seen. And it spoke about that creeper to the other birds. So what is a creeper children? Creeper is a plant that grows with the support of a tree by circling around it. So it takes support and it circles around it. So either it may be a wall or a stick or a, even a tree also. So where was that uh, creeper at the foot of the tree? Do you see that creeper? He said to them, let us destroy it. Why must we destroy it? asked the geese in surprise. It is so small. What harm can it do my, do? my friends? replied the wise old bird. That little creeper will soon grow. As it creeps up this tree, it will become thick and strong. So here, the wise old bird, it shows the creeper to the other birds. And, sees, and, and uh, this wise old bird says that you have to destroy that particular creeper. So, the other bird says that why we need to destroy it is very small. Okay, they say that it is very small, it is very little, very tender. So, why we need to destroy it? So, this oh, wise bird, bird says that this little creeper, it will grow soon, it becomes very strong. Okay, what of that? Ask the geese. What harm can a creeper do us? So, the other birds, other geese, they say that this creeper, what harm does it do for us? So that is the doubt about it. Don't you see, replied the wise bird, with the help of that creeper, it will be possible for someone to climb this tree. A hunter can come up and kill, up, kill us all. So now this wise bird says that the creeper, when it is very small, we need to destroy it. If we don't destroy it, after some days, it becomes very strong. And when it becomes very strong and when it creeps up the tree, a hunter may come and he may kill all of us. Okay. Well, there's no hurry, they replied. The creeper is very small. It would be a pity to destroy it now. So here pity is feeling a, a feeling of grief. So the other bird says that why now it is not required. So now it is very small. So let us show pity on that. It won't grow that much fast and they, won't, they neglect the words of the wise old bird. Destroy the keeper while it is still young, the old bird advised. Now it is tender and you can cut it easily. Later it will become hard and you will not be able to cut it. 
So now, again this wise old bird or the geese, this, it says that you need to destroy the creeper when it is very tender. Tender means very soft. So at that time to destroy. Destroy means to cut it or to pluck that one. So it will be easy. So when it grows, it becomes very strong and you find it very difficult to destroy that particular creeper. We will see. We will see, answered the birds. But they did not destroy the creeper. So what did the other birds do? Did they destroy it? No, they did not destroy it. They just said that we will see, we will see and they left it. They did not destroy the creeper. Even then, the, uh, even this uh, wise old bird when it advised also, they did not listen to it. They forgot the wise old bird's advice. As the creeper grew, it began winding its way up the tree. So winding here, it refers to go in circular. So these birds, they did not listen to this wise old bird and the, the creeper, it, it was winding round the tree. And as it, was, as it grew, it became very strong also. Stronger and stronger it became until it was as strong as a thick rope. So this creeper grew and it became very strong it was uh, winding round that particular tree's trunk and and what is uh, it, how it, it is compared to a thick rope so it is very thick like a rope this creeper is very thick like a rope one morning when the geese had gone out in search of food a hunter came to the forest so one morning what happened all these birds these geese they went out in the morning in search of food so when they went who came to that forest, a hunter came. So, this is where the wild geese live, he said to himself. When they come back in the evening, I shall catch them. So now, this hunter, he came to know about where these birds live. Okay, And he said that, when they come back, I am going to catch these wild geese. The hunter climbed up the tree with the help of the creeper. He got to the top and spread his net there. Then he climbed down and went away. So now what did the hunter do here? The hunter with the help of that creeper which is very strong as, as strong as a thick, uh, thick uh, rope. So he climbed up the tree with the help of the creeper and up on the top of the tree he had spread his net and he went home. In the evening the geese returned home. They did not notice the net as they flew into the tree. They were trapped. They struggled hard to get out but could not. So what happened? When did the birds return? In the evening they have returned. And after returning, they did not notice the net which is there on the top of the tree. So without noticing it, they flew into the tree. And the moment they flew into the tree, what happened? They were trapped. So trapped means they, get, they, caught, they were caught in that particular net. And they struggled hard. Struggled hard means they were trying to come out of that net. Will they be able to come out children? No, they did not come out. They were struggling hard. But they, do, they couldn't come out of it. Help, help, cried the geese. We are caught in the hunter's net. Oh, what shall we do? So they were crying for the help. That they were, they were caught in that net. And what shall we do now? So next step, what they have to take it. So they were crying for the help. Don't make a fuss now, said the wise old bird. So the wise old bird says that now you don't make a fuss. Fuss refers to don't cry and don't shout. So here, when you are in a problem, you should not cry, you should not shout. You have to plan how to come out of that particular problem. So let us see what does this wise old bird suggest. Long ago, I told you to destroy the creeper, but you did not. Now see what has happened. Tomorrow morning, the hunter will come back and kill us all. So now this wise old bird, it says that long back I told you all not that to, to destroy that creeper. But did you listen to me? No, you did not listen. So what were you saying that we will see later? So as you did not destroy it, what happened? The creeper has become very strong like a rope and the hunter has spread the net and we are caught in this, in this net now. So you did not listen to me and she also says that, this wise old bird also says that, that tomorrow that hunter is going to come and he is going to kill all of us. We were foolish 
wept the birds. We are very sorry. We did not listen to you. Please tell us what to do. So now these geese, that all the birds, they say that we are very foolish. We did not listen to your words. So they say sorry to it. And now tell us what shall we do now? Then listen carefully, replied the wise bird. When the hunter comes, you must all pretend to be dead. Just lie still. The hunter will not want dead birds. He will throw us to the ground. It will then be easy for him to climb down. Collect the dead birds and take them home. When the last of us has been thrown down, we must quickly get up and fly away. So now here, this wise bird, it tells them that it, it gives a suggestion saying that we will do like this. And she says that you have to listen very carefully. So what does it say? It says that when the hunter comes tomorrow in the morning, all of us, we will act, pretend means act, will act as if we are dead. Okay, so the hunter will climb up the tree. So he does it, take the dead birds. So he will throw each and every bird down which is dead. So when it is thrown down, we will not move. We will be still. Okay, till the last bird is thrown. So when he and also he will not want, the hunter will not want dead birds. So he will not take the dead birds. So when he throws up all the birds down, then what shall we do? We will all, when the last bird is thrown down, then all of us at a time will get up and we will fly away. So this is what the wise old bird suggests them. In the morning, the hunter came to the tree and climbed up. He looked at the geese in the net. So now the hunter the next morning he came. So now he wants to take, he has trapped all those birds. So now he wants to take all those birds. So he, he looked at the geese in the net. So who were there in that net? All the birds, that is the geese. They are all dead. He muttered to himself. So muttered here refers to, to speak slowly, speak in a low voice. So here he has seen that all the birds, they are, they, they are still. Okay, so he, talk, he muttered, he spoke to himself in a very low voice, saying that all are dead or all are dead. He threw them out of the net one by one. So as the wise old bird said like that, this hunter has, he has thrown one after the other, each and every bird he has thrown it down. The birds lay still, stillness without any movement. Okay, so if at all any one, one bird, at least if it moves from, he'll get it down. So all the birds, they have listened now to the wise old bird and then they did not move. They were still until the last one has been thrown down. Then all at once they got up, flapped their wings and flew away. So here flap refers to move wings up and down. So now when the last bird has been thrown down, till that time they did not move. Finally, when the last one has been thrown, at that time, immediately everyone they got up, they flapped the wings and they flew away. Okay, the hunter was taken by surprise. So here the hunter was in wonder, what happened? So he thought that all the birds were dead. So now what is happening? From the top of the tree, he watched all the geese fly away. So from the top of the tree, he was still there only. So from the top of the tree, he was able to see all the birds flying away. Is it clear children? So now, what did we learn from this particular story that is flying together? Okay, so this particular story, it teaches us that we should listen to our elders or our teachers who give us wise advice. Okay, so whoever gives us the advice, we need to listen to them. Why do they give advice? Because they are experienced. So they give us advice. And also we need to know how, we, we have, in this lesson also we will come to know that how working together, it helps us to overcome the difficulty. So here all the birds, they listen to the wise old bird. So when they listen to it and all of them together they plan and they worked together, they were united, they worked together on that particular plan and like that with the help of each other they, they were able to overcome the difficulty. Is this clear children? Thank you.